Okay, so we left off with our animal head. We're on Mark 3. And there's a little bit of lag time in the render, which tells us our processor is working too hard. And there's probably a bunch of excessive code that we don't need. So what we're going to do is take the time to go through, and we're going to modify our first three chisels. These are the round ones, not the square ones. And we're going to see what we can do to get rid of the extra data that we're not using. Um, because it's quite obvious that some of these components, the nostrils and the eyes, may not need any um, extra length to the chisel, but was good for a translational understanding. So we're going to start out with um, our chisel point and just take a look at what we've got there. So this is just where our chisel point is, right? And you can see where chisel blank is functioning as well. And it's clear for the most part, that we don't even need the chisel blank. So the first thing we're going to do is just delete that from our function so that all we have are these cones making the shapes that we intended. And you can see there's a failing in the model where when we go up to the nostrils, um, obviously our design isn't fully parametric because the nostrils aren't quite um, exceeding the surface. So we're just going to move it up one millimeter and see if the cone comes out, which it did. And then we're going to do the same. And that's just to make sure that the chisel is only cutting beyond the surface um, to the point where the chisel still sticks proud of the surface, right? So we can move down to the next one and take a look at our inverted cone. I don't think we actually use the inverted cone for this model, but we're going to edit it anyway. So let's take a look at what the inverted cone looks like. So right now we've got a six-sided version, and it cuts all the way up into there. And so the distance that the inverted cone cuts into the uh, chisel bar is defined here by point length. Okay, so we know that the length here needs to be at least point length, if not a little bit more. So point length, we're going to put that in. And if we hit render, I think there's going to be a slight bit of mathematical issue if this were to be zero. Right. Um, we're just going to try and create a little tiny pinhole and a flat surface. So it's always good to just give yourself a little extra chisel, and we'll just add one millimeter, and that'll be sufficient. Okay. So now we know that our uh, inverted cone chisel works well, and so we're going to comment that back out, and we're going to bring animal head back into view up here. So we can see what else we're doing with the inverted ball chisel, right? So that's called the cup chisel, and that's what's cutting the eyes, right? So as we look, whoops, there's the chisel. And what we want to do is just look at how our chisels are actually functioning. So we've got the spheres, and then we've got the chisel blank, right? And so if I had to guess, um, our, our chisel blank's only going to have to be the length of our diameter. So we can pass that value parametrically again, so that it's just the length of the diameter. And remember, our sphere is actually diameter over 2 minus 1, so we could go even smaller. But I think it's helpful to have a reference to how far the eyes stick out in the model. So we're going to call that good. And then we're going to uncomment that. So we have our file. And it's moving a little faster, but there's still some lag in rendering time. And my guess is when we're done doing all of this math, when we go to do the square block chisels, we're going to end up with a lot faster rendering speed based on how we decide to do our cutting. Um, but at this point, we've, we've made enough modifications to want to save this as a new file. So we want to update in our code say like, hey, we've done this thing, but really what's important is today we made some edits, and it's still not fully parametric, but it's getting close. So we're going to save the file, animal head, mark four.